Oh, there we go. That was a nice bite, dude. Hold on a second. All right, y'all. Welcome back to another roasty toaster out here. In the last video, if you guys saw it, we got lucky. We fished a new spot at a new beach and we hooked into a very unexpected species of fish. Along with that, we found us a lucky shark tooth. I had so much fun that today we're actually about to go back to that beach. We got a plan in mind. We're going to pick up some lures and we're just going to do some exploring and have a really fun day. So let's just, you know, let's get to do it, man. All right. So as I said, this is my second time ever here at this beach and I'm just loving it. Let me show you real quick. Look at all of this. I'm not sure if you can see the depth of the shells. Watch like a freaking snake pop out of there. Shells on shells on shells. If you guys saw the last video, we found a shark tooth in here. It was so cool. We might have to do a little bit more search in here. Today, I'm starting to itch, man. Just looking at all these freaking shells. So today, the tide is coming in just like it was last time we were here for the first time ever. But this time, look at this. We are here at an earlier tide cycle, so a lot more of these jetties are out and pronounced. You guys can maybe see the one all the way over there we were fishing last time. Literally all of this was underwater up to like those shells, up to like my backpack up there. So this tide's gonna be coming in pretty heavy. All right, so if you guys saw the last video, we ended up hooking into a flounder with this dude right here. Literally, I was just throwing a spoon around. I was like, hey, it's springtime, you know, we've been catching some bluefish here and there, maybe a Spanish Mac. I have no freaking clue. I'm a dude from Delaware. We're fishing in Florida right now, but we ended up catching a freaking flounder. And then we didn't have too much more time to fish because we had to take that dude home. And uh, we did a delicious catch a cook if you guys haven't seen that video. Basically we stopped at the tackle shop because I was like, yo, the other day we caught a flounder here. Maybe like there's flounder here. So we picked up some of this stuff right here. This is the OG man, four inch curly tail gulp. And we just picked up some jig heads right there we have quarter ounce and we have three eighth ounce so we're gonna be doing some fishing some exploring maybe some shark teeth searching and we're gonna see if that was a fluke <laughs> fluke flounder no but we're doing some science here today like if, if we caught a flounder on a bait that's not even for flounder can we catch bait on flounder that is for fun tide is coming in everything looks freaking perfect it stormed yesterday but today it's like this beautiful it's just it feels beautiful out here saddle up y'all we're about to do some exploring Let's see if we can freaking do something here today bro i'm not even joking we're probably like two, three minutes into looking. Look at this right here. We found it again for today. The lucky shark tooth to start off the day. This one's a cool looking one. Look at that, it's kind of like wider. A little baby tooth, but it's like a thick base. Whew, that is a good way to start the day. So look at this real quick. This water is looking beautiful. It's actually very clean. So the thing is, right, the other day we were here, as the tide was kind of coming in, I seen a bunch of bait jumping. I think it was mullet here and there, but there was also some other stuff bouncing around there were some dolphins out there swimming too there's a big old bird out there right now usually that's a good sign there's like thick birds that dive in usually those dudes are near the bait too but there's bait popping the other day so i was like you know what the shrimp for some reason wasn't working so i put a spoon to try to imitate the bait and boom caught a flounder freaking sick today with these dudes i think we possibly could even match the hatch a little bit better so i'm going to tie these one of these on real quick and by the way i was just looking for a little bit more look at this so here is one and two boom just found that one. Look how sharp that one is right there. All right, so we'll just kind of leave the spoon sitting out. You never know when you'll see stuff popping off and we could really launch that thing. So it's always good just to have, just to have, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna thread one of these dudes on here. This is the three eighth ounce jig head. Boom, just like that. And the really good thing about these is like, along with the action, they got a cool twister tail, but. They just have this smell. If you know, you know that gulp scent. Here's Florida for you. Y'all see that big old rain, like literally sunny, 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 big old rain thing. I could just dump right over you for like five minutes. All right, let's see what's popping. Tighten that up a little bit. Start here. And we're just gonna be kind of moving. I have not done much flounder fishing like this, but I've always wanted to. So we got the lighter tackle seven foot rod and here's kind of the thing right we're going to be bouncing this on the bottom kind of giving us some pauses not only would this possibly catch flounder but i mean these gulp they, they could catch anything we're talking about redfish possibly speckled trout realistically anything that eats bait fish or shrimp or really anything in here could possibly eat this along with the flounder it's kind of like what we're going for but i, I will take anything that freaking bites yeah, and this thing was completely underwater the other day. There's gotta be some fish over here, right? Oh, that looks good. It's nice too, because this water's a little bit more clear. They could definitely see it. They could definitely smell it. 
just don't want to get snagged. That's the only thing. The other day we got snagged. Oh, frick. I just spoke that into existence. The thing about today that's different though, right? We already found the lucky shark. Well, no. See, that's the thing. We didn't just find one lucky shark tooth. Our luck should be doubled today, right? Is that asking too much? We found two right off the bat. That megalodon is still around here somewhere. Let's try this side of the jetty. I think the current kind of swept me into it. It's my excuse at least. Whoa, big old barge over there. Oh, dude, there's a ton of little fish right there. You can see it drops off pretty decent. A couple feet out too. These flounder, if there are any around, like there were the other day. Ow, freaking, who dug that hole? Probably mother nature to be honest. But these flounder are kind of just sitting down there, right? They camouflage insanely well to the bottom and they're just sitting down there waiting in like a natural, I think that's a natural hole like that or you know, some structure, some rocks. Usually I fish for them in like the pilings of a dock or a pier or something, but they're just kind of sitting down there looking up and waiting for the opportunity to strike. So the goal is to just kind of get this on top of them or near them. They're pretty aggressive fish. Like if they see it a little bit away, like they'll kind of flat pancake themselves over to you and just kind of chomp you. At least the ones in Delaware were pretty aggressive. Wow. Yeah, we're just going to be doing a lot of walking. A lot of searching, hopefully some catching. The interesting thing about the other day when I got that bite, it wasn't really on the structure at all, the jetty. It was just kind of out in the middle. I was just kind of fan casting the freaking search bait, that big old spoon. I still can't believe I got bit. Hopefully it's not just like a very lucky, super random fish bite. Fish on? Oh my god, I had a flounder. I think that was a flounder. All right, we were literally just dragging that. Like I was walking. Okay, maybe they might be here. I was walking, I was kind of just doing one of these. And then it felt a little heavy. I was like, am I on some rocks or something? Leave it to me to not set the freaking. Oh, all right. That's all I needed to know. That's all I needed. Not yet. Whew. It's all right. Next one up. Just remember, y'all, in life, if you're focused on the fish that you missed or, you know, hindsight and other things, you're taken away from what you could be doing in the moment. Motivational first state. Dude, no joke. As we're fishing, <laughs> look down and found another. Yo, we're going to catch a fish today. We got no option. There's a fish. There's a fish. Is that one? It's like running at me. What is that? Whew. Okay. Let's go. First one of the day. This is exactly what we were freaking looking for, man. Oh, this is so sick. That is, oh, dude, look at that. He choked it, too. Oh, that is so freaking sick, dude. Let's let him go. Reel in the sand. Don't even care. Yeah, I had one the other day that I caught from somewhere. It, it was so good. 
Yeah, they're a cool fish. Oh, there's something going in the water right there. It looked like a big stingray. All right, might be this dude's mama. Boom, let's get you back in there. I don't know if y'all can see that. There's like a, some, it looks like it's gotta be stingray. So I mean, this dude's literally just chilling at the bottom. Hey, let me poke him with the rod. It's probably freaked the heck out. I don't even know if you can see me blends in so dude, well. They're masters of disguise. All right, dude, this might become one of my favorite types of fishing ever. If you guys know me, back in Delaware, flounder is like my stuff. In no way am I the best flounder fisherman of all time. Or whatever. It's just fun to me. And the fact that like, look, look, I've always wanted to come to the beach like this and fish off the beach. I've just never done it. Dude ate it almost right when it hit the freaking. All right, we're gonna keep walking. Oh, that's so cool. If you guys could go down there, hit that thumbs up button. Really would be appreciated. Got teeth. Looks like there's one right there too. No. Just a shell. We got teeth. Two bites so far. Let's see what else we could freaking do. Come on, fish. I honestly think that one of the coolest parts about doing this is like, you know, you set off with an idea and with like a goal in mind. And like when you're fishing new spots and stuff, like you never know what's gonna happen. You never know if you're gonna catch fish. If you caught one fish last time, that doesn't even mean you'll ever catch one of those type of fish in that spot again, you know what I mean? Like fishing is so like day to day, just changes all these variables. But to find a new spot last video, to catch a flounder, not even meaning to, to be like, all right, maybe there's flounder there. Get some flounder lures, come back, actually cook one, dude. Not cook one, hook one. Ah, oh, dude, this is so cool. I'm, really, I'm geeking. It's funny, because like people who don't fish, they're always like, you know, don't you ever get like tired of fishing? There's no way I could ever, like doing stuff like this, where you just don't know. And you kind of use Google Maps, you kind of, you science, become your own Bill Nye. It's just fun, man. All right. So we're gonna keep fishing here and keep walking now. We're almost to the spot uh, where I got hit last time and then we'll probably walk down even further. I gotta go grab my bag so nobody yoinks it once we get down that way, but. Hey man, this is literally all I'm doing. You guys saw it, just let it hit the bottom. Oh, thought I had a bite there too. Just let it hit the bottom. Kind of let it chill there for a second. That's how honestly we got bit the last time when we pulled that fish in. It just hit the bottom and he came over. But first time I believe we got bit. Just kind of let it sit there. You could drag it a little bit. Look at that. It's kind of bopping over the sand. Give it some life bops. Just make it look tasty. Oh, I just got bit. I think that was a bite. I mean, that's all we're doing when we're fishing, right? Making it look tasty. That might not have been a bite. Felt like one. Feels like there's some structures, like rocks or shells or something. Anybody home? Just love this beach vibe too, man. Just like, these aren't big waves, but just hearing the waves, hearing the seagulls. Being in the sun. First day is living his best life. And again, I appreciate y'all coming on all these adventures with me and uh, sharing these experiences because it's just so cool. Like, you know, y'all are the homies. You come fishing. We always have these memories to look back on. I think I might become addicted to this stuff right here though. There's a couple beaches that I know that I've been one, I, I've been eyeing a little bit on Google Maps. And you never know what happens. That it, like literally there could be a freaking, the other day we saw like kind of mini blitz and a bunch of bait fish were popping. I kind of ran and then we broke our boot even more, which it's always a good time. Boots are just not meant for fishing.
I just got bit. I got a fish. You got a fish. You got a fish. What is that? Oh, yeah. Ooh, another one. Let's go, dude. Let's freaking go. Whew. Oh, yeah. That one I felt a bite. Probably set the hook a little late on that, but super freaking cool, man. Second one of the day. Again, I already know I'm going to get addicted to this kind of fishing. Oh, man. These fish are so pretty. I always like to say this when I catch them. Yeah. The cool thing about a flounder, you know how they have like two fish? Two fish. Freaking two eyes on the top of their head. They're actually born with one eye on each side of the head and then they kind of like as they become a flat pancake it kind of shifts over and they have their full pancake transformation and two eyes on top of it they're a really cool fish the way that they like camouflage and just the way they look so cool i think this is uh, like the area where i freaking hooked that one last time too all right well, well we're gonna hit this pretty good i was just thinking too i haven't got a bite in a while i was like yo possibly I need to like re-dip my gulp just to get more scent in the like a little package, you know? Sometimes if you aren't getting bites, that's like a thing you can do. Is that a, no, I thought that was a bite. That last one, like I just, you could see it almost probably in the cameras. Do, do, do. Can we just take a second? I gotta walk back. My bag is all the way over there. This tide is coming up. But again, just look at this real quick. Look at where we're at. Look how beautiful. Ah. I'm telling you, I'm gonna get addicted to this stuff. All right, let's get back to our sack. I kind of want to re-dip our gulp, but it's just funny because you see like a lot of these uh, local people out here who go to this place, I guess, to, to find treasure, kind of like what we're doing in the meantime while we're fishing. Cool shells or freaking meg teeth. They all have this one tool. It's like an extendo ice cream scooper. So it's this thing that they hold, but it's got like almost like mesh net at the end. And like they can kind of scoop it up and like shake it out. The thing is though, it's not just like, oh, that person has one. Oh, that, they had one too. Everybody has one of these things. It's like the thneed of the beach, man. Everybody got to have one. Shout out the Lorax. All right, we're gonna take one cast right here. I'm feeling it. Then we're gonna go re-dip this. We got some other color gulp too. And we also have uh, some gulp shrimp. But as far as matching the hatch, I just, I really like what we got on. Okay, so here's actually a pretty interesting question. So say we fished all this behind me from this jetty to back down to that jetty, right? But the tide is also coming in more and it's been a little bit since we've hit these areas that we were having some luck in. For all you flounder fishermen out there or saltwater guys, should I be fishing this area again because it was productive? In my mind, right, since the tide is coming in, like new fish are gonna be coming in and they're gonna kind of be moving around or is that not how it really works with flounder? Do they just kind of like sit? Does that make any sense or like new people coming to the party and they're just kind of shuffling around down there. I don't know. If any of you guys have any idea, let me know. I kind of want to fish this jetty again. Look at how much more underwater it is. I'll show you here in a second. But yeah, then we're going to walk back down that way a little bit. And past there. And probably over there. And we're going to, we're just, we're going to hit it, man. Let's just get this dude more into that juice. Oh, yeah. I don't know how much it helps. But I think it does. That juice is a blessing and a curse. Fishing wise, yeah, it's great, dude. You spill that crap anywhere? It's GG. You spill that in your bag, man, you might as well just get a new fishing bag. <laughs> your mom, your wife, your significant other is not going to want you bringing that around the house. Or in the car, it'll stink up your whole car. It'll stink up your life. The gulp life ain't for everybody, you know what I'm saying? I want to hit this jetty here, these rocks a little bit more. It just makes perfect sense for fish to be here. And even to the right, like this little cut over here that I'm looking at, there's a lot of good looking real estate. And before I forget, let's back this backpack up. That was one of my objectives. Beautiful. Let's walk her down. This is the bop walk. Just gotta do a little, little slight dragging every now and then. Bop. And walk. Bop.
Oh, there we go. That was a nice bite, dude. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Guys, this is a good fish. Did you see that freaking rod bend? Thank God I went back. Hold on, dude. Wait, this could actually be a... Oh yeah. 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 That would be a keeper. Oh, that's a really solid flounder right there, dude. Oh, oh. Okay, not back in the water. Look how big that freaking thing is, dude. Oh. All right. <laughs> no wonder that just yoinked our freaking tip so much. All right, let me get this out of your mouth. Hey. Okay, there we go. Out of your mouth. All right, I'm actually... Hey, I'm your friend. Believe it or not. There he goes. That counts. I touched him. Quick release. He literally sprayed, sprayed my whole face. Oh, man. It's a beautiful thing. Freaking sand everywhere. Probably deserve that for yoinking that unsuspecting pancake off of his little perch. Whew, man, if you guys could go down there again, hit that thumbs up button. Let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this. I'm starting to freaking... Oof. I feel like I just drank like 20 energy drinks right now. That was as big, if not bigger, than the one we caught in the last video. And again, if you guys haven't seen that catch and cook, it was honestly the tastiest one we've done in a very, very, very long time. I freaking love catching them. And even more, dude, they're really good eating. That one right there would have been another good eater, but don't plan on keeping any today. I'm just happy. <laughs> oh, man. Just even to get the opportunity to fish out in a nice beautiful sunny day you know it's just straight vibes this video to actually be catching them life is good man oh my gosh this thing was all the way back in the back it's ice cold it was it had like ice on it oh for a toasty day that feels so freaking good man appreciate y'all for uh watching this video here's a pickup pop up of all the teeth we found today i think the teeth help us get lucky let me know if you want to see more like it can't wait to do some more exploring around here and uh yeah man as always let's keep this rolling thank y'all for watching man see y'all no, in the next one